students in mathematics we study various formulae hands on activities help in better understanding of such formulae through visualization today we are going to visualize the formula for sum of first n terms of an arithmetic progression what is an arithmetic progression an arithmetic progression is sequence of terms in which the difference between two consecutive terms remains constant today we are going to use these materials some squared sheets colored sheets pair of scissors some markers and a ruler let us do certain preparations here we have prepared a slip representing a a is the first term of the sequence this is representing a plus d a is the first term and d is the common difference so this slip is representing a plus d we know that if we take a an arithmetic progression if a is the first term and d is the common difference then it can be written as a a plus d a plus 2d a plus 3d so on up to a plus n minus 1 into d now we will be taking sum of first five terms from this sequence what will be the sum of first five terms s5 is represented as a plus a plus d plus a plus 2d plus a plus 3d plus a plus 4d let us take these pieces and make a representation this is a a plus d a plus 2d a plus 3d and a plus 4d so you can see that we have put here a a, a plus d a plus 2d a plus 3d and a plus 4d i have with me this piece representing the sum of first five terms of the given ap we will take the replica of this piece from the colored sheet this is the replica and we will place these two pieces like this dear friends a new shape is obtained and this is the shape of a rectangle observe the sides of the rectangle this side is 5 units and this side is 2a plus 4d as you can see that this will be a so this side will be 2a plus 4d observe carefully that a plus a plus d up to a plus 4d is half of the area of this rectangle so the sum of first five terms of this ap will be half of area of this rectangle which is obtained now what is the area of a rectangle area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth what is the length of this rectangle it is 2a plus 4d units and the breadth is 5 units so area is 2a plus 4d into 5 square units now s5 will be half of this area so half into 5 into 2a plus 4d which is equal to half into 5 into 2a plus 5 minus 1 into d we are replacing 4 and we are writing it as 5 minus 1 dear friends note down this observation now we will be making the representation for first eight terms of the ap 
that means we will be taking first term A, then second term A plus D, A plus 2 D, then A plus 3 D, then A plus 4 D, then A plus 5 D, this is A plus 6 D and A plus 7 D. Now we will take this piece which is representing the sum of first 8 terms. Take its replica from a colored sheet. and try to arrange them in this manner. Now, which shape is obtained? Again, a rectangle is obtained and what is the length of this rectangle? Length of this rectangle will be 2a plus 7d and what will be the breadth? It will be 8 units. So, let us see what will be the sum of first 8 terms. Observe carefully that sum of the first 8 terms of this arithmetic progression will be half of the area of the rectangle which is formed. Area of rectangle is length into breadth and here the length is 2a plus 7d units and the breadth is 8 units. So, what will be S8? S8 will be half of this area of this rectangle. So, half of 2a plus 7d into 8. So, I can write it as half of 8 into 2a plus 8 minus 1 into d as we did last time. So, here we are replacing 7 by 8 minus 1. So, S8 is half of 8 into 2a plus 8 minus 1 into d. Note down this observation. Now, we will be taking the sum of first 10 terms. As you can see that this piece is representing the sum of first 10 terms. I have arranged here a, a plus d up to a plus 9d and this piece is replica of this. So, arrange it in this manner and you get a rectangle and in this rectangle we see that its length is 2a plus 9d and its breadth is 10 units. So, what will be S10? S10 will be half of the area of this rectangle that is half of 2a plus 9d into 10 which is equal to half of 10 into 2a plus 10 minus 1 into d. Now, observe the expressions which are obtained. Now, observe carefully the three expressions which are obtained in this. We have S5 equal to half of 5 into 2a plus 5 minus 1 into d. S8 is equal to half of 8 into 2a plus 8 minus 1 into d and S10 is equal to half of 10 into 2a plus 10 minus 1 into d. So, what will be the sum of n terms? First n terms of the arithmetic progression? The sum of first n terms of the arithmetic progression is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. This is the formula for finding the sum of first n terms of the AP.